Now, do you want to try and do this top yes. down shot? Yes, yes. Are you all, are you all laying down on the floor doing snow angels? <laughs> slapping? <laughs> Hello, Nick Briggs here. I'm the uh, director and script editor of Adam Adamant Lives. And as you can hear, it's very, very busy here. We're having a fab and groovy 1960s photo shoot. And that's uh, Sim, um, Adam Adamant's butler. I am playing uh, Miss Georgina Jones. I'm playing Adam Adamant, gentleman adventurer. And I'm playing Sims, Punch and Judy man and live in theatrical. <laughs> nice. Adam Adamant is an Edwardian gentleman adventurer who uses his position of wealth and power to do good, to try and restore the values which have become ever more corrupt in society. Uh, and then he's transposed from 1902 to 1960s London and finds himself very much a fish out of water and struggling ever more with his own sanity as well, which is very fun. That's great. Georgina Jones is a dreamer. I think she thinks she was born in the wrong era. So there's something that we perceive about the 60s and we have these notions of it. And I think for her, I think she'd much, if, to be running around with, with an Edwardian or, a Vic, or indeed Victorian for her is it, the dream really, as someone who is sort of stuck in the past, a traditionalist, but, but happy to adventure. And, um Having brought the house down as a, as a as an actor once, uh, Sims is now uh, on his uppers um, and finds himself in a position to be employed by uh, an eminent gentleman, um, which is just as well. So I make the coffee. <laughs> very good coffee. Yeah, very good coffee. Okay, okay. So, yes, um, so we do some of those where you're, you're pointing. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 Do we we'll need to clear the, the light? Uh, yeah, if you just come yes. be slightly behind the light, then that'd be great. So, you know, so, kind of yeah. so we've had a day's recording. How did that go the first day? Fantastic. I mean, the first day there's, there's always kind of that moment where you're trying to find the voice which you're committing to for the duration of the series. So you want to kind of land in a, in a elegant manner yes. in the first moments. Um, I enjoyed it enormously. How did you find it? I, I, I it had a lovely terrible. time. No, I, hate, <laughs> I hated it. No, it, there's something really joyous about getting to getting to hear it all aloud for the first time. And you know, when, when you're sent a script and you you can only sort of splash around in the part you've been given, and then to hear it come together with with everyone else and meet everyone yes. else. You imagine the voices, and it's rather satisfying yes. when they kind of fulfil it. <laughs> nice. Great. I, 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 it's a very interesting thing though having to sort of when you've been asked to create a character and you know that it's based all around your voice and you're interacting with other voices and you know that you can't be seen and so you do things with your body in the booth that you would never do on an actual camera yes. and then suddenly you're asked to physically incorporate them and you're thinking oh god how do they stand actually do, does that marry with the way you know I've because been you're right because it's quite swashbuckling and physical so to kind of how to encapsulate that physicality yeah. vocally um, there's a lot of us running and jumping well and that's it and to get chopping. energy up in the booth you know i find myself sometimes doing like oh no like weird things with yeah. my fist which i'd never do <laughs> in real life but it just it, it helps yeah, yeah. and then you're here and you think oh I oh, know they are they are real people. He had a sword in his hand, so if you or stick or whatever, so almost like he was holding it up, both hands I think on it, and slightly higher. So yeah. The script is wonderful. I don't know who wrote such a. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to swallow but metal. It really does look mm. like you're flossing. You weren't joking. Are you, no. Are you quite all right. And if you can drop your end slightly, that would be lovely. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, does much spittle issue forth? Because I'm quite close. <laughs> we'll have your script. You look you smart too. You all look very smart. I look it's a lovely. bit hutch but that's fine. Oh, that's who she is. You've got the spirit of 60s. Exactly. So if I get the three, you sound really nice. And what did you know about Adam Adamant before you started work on this? What did I know? Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was, it was a gaping void, but I've, um, I've really enjoyed looking into it. I, could, I, I now have about 35 pieces of Adamant trivia, which is probably all slightly um, spurious, but it's quite, quite good to have something up the sleeve. Okay, looking good, thank you very much. High up. So will you be recording in costume now, do you think? Mm. Well, it's that or naked now for me. I'm <laughs> really brought anything. I can take my That's jacket horrible. off. Do you have something you what can you screen, off, screen off the boots? Why is it horrifying? <laughs> Just a little Don't judge me. <laughs>
Well, uh, yeah. can we recast? <laughs> it turns out he's horrible. 